नमस्कार सतरीकाल आदाब हेलो डेटा एंड स्किल एक्सप्लोर वेलकम टू डेट के लर्नर अ बिट फॉर डेटिंग टुडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ अ स्पीच सीरीज कॉल्ड पावर बी आई बुक मार्क्स एंड इन दिस सीरीज वील एक्सप्लोर हाउ बुक मार्क्स कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म योर रिपोर्ट इन टू इंटरक्टिव स्टोरी टेलिंग डैशबोर्ड इन पावर बी आई इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी पावर बी आई आई जस्ट टेक यू टू दी स्लाइड शो इज वेल सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी पावर बी आई what is a power bi or in power bi a bookmark is like taking a snapshot of your report state that snapshot can include filters visuals and page you are on with bookmark you can save a particular view and return to it anytime just like adding a bookmark in the, in a book to continue where you left off so today the important thing is we'll be talking about four different types of bookmarks which is all data display and current page don't worry i'm just trying to give you an idea of this at the moment so all is which says everything filter visual and page data saves only slicer filter drill state display saves visibility formatting of vis visuals current saves only the page you are on don't worry we'll explore each one of them step by step in this particular video and we'll also talk about what we are going to cover in the next series now before i jump in explaining you things if you're new to my channel do subscribe to it and if you like what i'm trying to give the information about please like and share share it to the people uh, who are interested in power bi who can learn from it and we can make some difference in their life saving some time and they can do the example so now let's just begin with the video or the demo so here i've um, i've created the demo where i have the main page and if i if i show you these are all the bookmarks so how do you get these bookmarks you can click on add and once you click on add you can select what kind of bookmark do you want to have it all means all of them are selected if it is only data type it is where you select data and you can remove the other ones right and if you want to keep it only for display then you can select the display if you want to keep it for the current page you can keep it for the current page so this whole demo is about showing you what each one of them can do so i've already created some bookmarks so this one is the default bookmark and you can see it here as well and this default bookmark saves all of them that is data display current pages so this is just a bookmark button bound to this bookmark so i've created this bookmark which is default and default bookmark saves the current filter it shows you this value and it it saves the display if if you want to change anything in the display it will save it and it will also be doing the current page so i'll show you that difference in a minute then when we are talking about the data i've created this which is working only on data it doesn't have display in current page when i'm talking about display i'm just talking about the display it it saves only the display and then when i'm talking about the current page uh that is the current page that we have i have also created a sub page which is also having a current page bookmark right so if you see if you go to the current page will be here if you click on the sub page you'll be here so now i bound these buttons with each of those actions so what i have done is when i click on the default i go to action and i select the type of the action that we want in the bookmark and then we select the bookmark so this is default all this is data this is display and this is current page now i just realized that i've not shown you one very important step right that how and what you would be doing so let me just add a bookmark a new bookmark so i'll click on add whatever changes i want to make on it right on this particular bookmark i'll just go here and i'll change that filter to accessories or what i'm going to do is i'll just remove everything from there so this is the filter that i want to save so i'll just make it as a spotlight 
so this is my uh, oh this is on this page so I'll just get rid of it delete I'll go back to the main page I will spotlight this particular page and then what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on add and this I will say spot light now you can see when I've clicked on the spotlight this is showing you there is no other no filter selected it sh it is selecting uh, it has selected everything so that's what you see and then you see this part here is getting spotlight but now if you want to change anything on this page right anything on this bookmark so this is where you have saved the bookmark like where you have stopped from or where you want to start it from but if you want to make any changes in this spot particular bookmark what you can do is i want to remove the spotlight from this and i want to remove i want to put the spotlight back to the this part here so that i can move out of it so once you have done every setting that the the way that you want you can go here and you can click on update so the moment you click on update this will get updated for you and if i go to any other page and come back here i see this has become uh it has saved everything so because i've selected everything data display and current page so it is sa saving all the three attributes so now let's just show you the difference of each one of them so let's just go to the default page now in the default page it is it is saving the data it's saving the filter of laptop it's saving 260 it's showing you the values here and it is also the current page so i'll show you what i'm talking about i'll just remove uh, all these values that i've selected in slicer so i show all the data so the moment i click on the default it will bring back the same filter that we have selected it will also bring in the spotlight or might be the visual that you have hidden or you have not showing here it will bring that back whatever you have share, uh, saved in the default page so if i go and say uh, um I remove the I put the spotlight on this no if I put the spotlight on this one here right I have not yet updated so if I click on the default you will see that it removes the spotlight as well and it comes back now for the data when we have updated it we have selected the phones so if I go to the data this is only selecting the phones so if I go here and make this a spotlight and when i click on the data sorry before i make it the spotlight let me just select accessories and then select data as the spotlight if i click on the data again you will see that the filters change back to the way the data was saved but it did it did not change the display so it did not change the display at the moment so in order to go back i'll just click on the default here and then what i'm going to do is if i go to the display you will see that if i go from here to display it it shows only the default one because that's what i've spotlight put the spotlight on and but it doesn't change the filter so if i go to the default and i select i remove all the categories from there and i go back to the display you will see that it is not changing any of the filters it is just working on the display there so anything related to display would get updated by clicking on the display kind of a bookmark let's go back to the default then we are talking about the current page so this sub page uh, sub current page was created in sub page so if i click on this it will take me to the sub page and this current page was created in the main page so if i click on this this will bring back to the main page so the default because default has all of them selected so if i click on the default if i go to the sub page and then click on the default because default was created on the main page it will bring me back to the main page so this is how each category of the bookmark or the different types of bookmark works so data display and current page I hope bookmark uh, this demo of bookmark 
displayed uh, the and, and showed you the difference of different kind of bookmarks if you if you have learned something new don't forget to like share and subscribe to devk learner tomorrow we'll be exploring the bookmark and how see how to save slicer and filter states and the other part of it until then keep exploring keep learning because every day a move a bit forward daily helps you become a better person and your practice makes you perfect thank you bye bye